CBS 4 has its eye on Earth. Earth Day's tomorrow, and we are committed to telling stories about people and the places caring for our environment. Water makes up about 71% of the Earth's surface, and life underwater is just as crucial for our survival. That's why two South Florida universities teamed up to help restore coral reefs off our coast. UM, along with Nova University and the Frost Museum of Science, are teaming up to restore one of South Florida's most precious treasures, coral reefs. And we're using multiple approaches, different techniques, including asexual propagation of corals within nurseries, sexual reproduction of coral larvae that are collected uh, during spawning events and then grown within our labs and outplanted on our local reefs. We're also restoring grazer populations, specifically the uh, long spine sea urchin. The team effort led to a project with the NFL last February where they laid down 100 yards of corals. The program is called 100 Yards of Hope. And we are seeing uh, significant improvements. You know, we are able to increase the abundance of corals, the coral cover, and then we see fish come in, use the uh, habitat as they're supposed to do. Um, so we are seeing locally, you know, visible impacts that, you know, any, anybody that, that goes diving onto one of these restoration sites uh, will see the, the big difference that, that active restoration is having on our local reefs. UM is expanding their reach to people who want to help with coral reef restoration with their Rescue a Reef program. They have monthly trips where members of the public who can snorkel or dive can join the expeditions. They do the work that we do. They go to our nursery with us. They help us clean our structures. They collect corals. And then on a second dive, they plant corals. So we have more than 20% of all of the corals that we've outplanted over the past five years have been outplanted by members of the public through our rescue or reef uh, programs. And this work benefits not just ocean lovers, the impact of coral reef restoration is felt throughout South Florida. We need these healthy reefs. We need the services that healthy coral reefs provide to our shorelines. They provide the first line of defense against the impacts of waves and storms and coastal flooding. They provide all those ecosystem services that we rely on, for fisheries, for, for tourism, for sand production. So we need healthy reefs to protect our shorelines and sustain our economy. And CBS 4 News, CBSMommy.com, and CBS News are committed to bringing you stories about our environment as we keep our eye on Earth. Look for reports all week as we approach Earth Day on CBS 4 News, CBSMommy.com, slash Earth Day, and on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell and on CBS This Morning.